grab that microphone there in front of you, and uh, let's welcome our first guest of the hour, Anna. Sarah, your last name? Is Jones. Jones, that's what I thought. I thought, well, it can't be Jones, because <laughs> that's too easy. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? Hey, it's Friday, and uh, maybe you could help me with this conspiracy theory that I've got in my mind. Um, I know you're from the Carlsbad Library, but in Artesia, we have an election Tuesday. I've seen the signs, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of them around, and... Um, there's a lot of information that's been put out by different uh, groups and organizations about when to vote, where to vote, and all that. And it's like this one here. Half of it's wrong. Oh. And so I'm wondering, I'm beginning to think it's a conspiracy. That there's one candidate out there that is putting out all this incorrect information so that everybody else gets confused. Right. But they have like a secret messaging connection to their supporters and so all of their supporters are going to show up on time at the right place to vote and everybody else's supporters will just be confused and frustrated and won't even vote am i am i crazy for having a conspiracy theory like that i can see where you're coming from but i think it just shows in this day and age it's really important to check your information because there's so much out there and some of it might be wrong yeah. so make sure you have valid sources so you do show up to the right place that's right so. and, and what i did was i went to the secretary of state's website and uh, you can pull up your voter information and you can see um, you know what your name is <laughs> what your address is what precinct you're in what party you're a part of um, and then for this election polling places you can look at your absentee voting site your early voting site your day of voting site it even has show directions it'll bring up a map from your from your address your home address or whatever your your registration address how to get to the polling place i mean it's all there and uh, so i and it's like i told summer over at city hall yesterday i said i would think the secretary of state's website is probably a pretty good source yes yes <laughs> i would trust it as a valid source i, I yeah i would i would hope so yes if not we've got bigger issues <laughs> we've so. got bigger bigger <laughs> issues and and all that well so glad you're here with us today how long have you been uh, with the with the carlsbad library um i started in 2017 as their assistant director and then i was promoted to director back in february of 2020 just in time for COVID. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how did that? How did that go? How did you guys handle all of that and get through all of that? Um, it was a challenge, and it depended on the day. And it, at some points, I didn't feel qualified because I was a new director. But then I remembered, even if I had been a director for twenty years, this was their p first pandemic as well. So we tried to make sure we were still serving the community, but doing it safely. So yeah. Um. um it was a challenge for everybody and hopefully now the with the mass mandate being lifted and uh, everything else uh everything's back to normal and operating as uh, as it should there at the library in carlsbad yes we're back to our full hours no restrictions so that's good um how long has that library been there in carlsbad that's been a long time hasn't it um they first opened it in 1897. wow yes in, in that location or no no um the first location was not on that site it was a really small building that the women's club just brought books and they expanded from there so yeah well that's well that's exciting and uh, uh enjoy living and working in carlsbad everything uh, pretty cool there yes yeah uh, they've been the ups and downs with the oil business but you uh through all of that if you had a good steady uh customers uh clientele that, uh, or patrons, I guess, that come to the library? Um, yes. Actually, um, recent years, we've had some increases with what we've done. We've made some changes, and our numbers have been up. So we're excited to see um, more people stopping in and uh, more usage. So That's, gr that's great. So, uh, for those that may not be familiar with where the library is in Carlsbad, uh, where is the library? Um, we are located right down in downtown. We're part of Main Street district the pearl of the pecos arts and culture district and we're right across the street from city hall so we've got a great location and you're next to the to the museum yes we share a building and we also have the beautiful halaguino art park outside of us so it's a beautiful space and it and then the art park is very nice there's some very unique sculptures and things that are in the in the park there yes and they're constantly working to add more unique pieces to the park so we hope to get um our next piece i think in sometime in may so what's what's the most unusual piece that's out there to you that you've seen 
Um, so we've got a couple that are on loan from the state um, that are kind of unique, um, but I'm really excited about the next piece. We're working with um, Barrett DeBusk, who um, lives up north, and he's creating kind of a whimsical piece, so it's going to have a lot of color, and it's going to be kind of geared to the kids, and he's taking a local historical figure from Carlsbad, and he's kind of representing him in a piece of art, so we're excited about that one. Well, that's neat. Well, I think, I think you want to talk about... Um Dr. Seuss, right? Yes. Yeah. His birthday is coming up. Read Across America is happening. So we're super excited to take part in the celebrations. Um, so we're planning a birthday party for him on March 2nd from 3 to 5. There'll be party decorations. There'll be treats. We'll be reading his stories. A couple of his characters will be there. And we're excited to kind of share Dr. Seuss and his magical children's books. Yeah. And for those that aren't familiar with Dr. Seuss, you've been living under a rock because it's been so popular for so many years for for kids and adults yes um probably what the green eggs and ham yes. is, is a popular story um he did the the who mm-hmm. uh, he did the grinch stole christmas um which involves a who horton hears a who which kind of also deals with the same characters um my favorite is there's a walket in your pocket um <laughs> so he's known for his crazy rhymes and made up words so yeah now what was his real name theodore giselle giselle i think and and um just an interesting background or story on his history and how he came up with all the stories so i'm sure you've got lots of material that people can read about the the history of Dr. Seuss. Yes. Um, Beth Neiman, our children's librarian, is doing a whole display case of all his children's work, and we've got several um, biographical adult books. So if you want to learn more about his um, life and how he became an author and some of that stuff, we've got some good reads for that as well. Now, will there be people in costume and character? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. We'll have the cat in the hat. We'll have the fox in socks, and we'll have a character from Green Eggs and Ham. So That's good. Are you going to be one of the characters? I am. You are? Yes. Which one did you pick? Um, I'm going to be reading Green Eggs and Ham, so I'm going to um, dress up as a character who's grumpy and will not eat Green <laughs> Eggs and Ham. So, Well, I don't know if I want to eat Green Eggs. I like ham, but uh, I don't know about the Green <laughs> Eggs uh, part. But they're, just, they're just funny stories, and uh, even today, kids you know, read them or uh, are told the stories and things like that, which is kind of neat. Yes, and all of them have a really good moral message to them. Um, so he was talking about um, different topics that were kind of um, edgy when he was writing them. Um, the Lorax kind of talks about deforestation and things like that. So, a lot, Some of these have actually been adapted into animated movies and live action movies over the years. I think the Lorax was an animated movie yes. not that long ago. And then, of course, there's been, well, there was the... the, uh, the I guess the traditional or the uh, the first animated of uh, the Grinch of Stole Christmas, and then there's yes. been some live action versions of it as well. Yeah, and they've actually done another cartoon version of it recently. So. Now I haven't seen. Didn't Mike Myers do the Cat in the Hat movie? Yes. I, I hadn't seen that one, so I don't know if that turned out any good or not. You know, Mike Myers is like really great at some things, and then some things just didn't turn right. out very well like i don't think anybody liked the love guru <laughs> <laughs> i think that was a bad uh, a bad movie there but that has nothing to do with the with the cat in the hand yeah so this is all coming up on wednesday what uh, what time will all this be going um, on it'll be going on from three to five so you can stop in anytime and listen to a story um there'll be um, prizes and treats and um a scavenger hunt for the kids so we're hoping everyone will show up and have a good time now do, do folks need to sign up ahead of time or uh, or just just come out to the library just show up and have fun so okay and well, you don't have to stay for the old whole event it's come and go so if one time works better than you and we'll be having our normal programs earlier in the day so if you want to show up for lego club or craft or noon you can always show up at 2 30 and stick around for the event so okay it'll be an afternoon of fun good well let me ask you about that some of the other programs that uh, that take place because we always we always have valerie on I don't know if you've met Valerie at the library in here, um, but what are some of the regular scheduled programs that uh, that you have at the Carlsbad Library? Um, every week we've got preschool story time. We've got toddler time. We do a peaceful play. Um, Beth tries to go to local daycares. Um, we just started a STEM club on Saturdays for first through fifth graders that we're super excited about. Um, in April, we're planning a touch a truck event where we're going to coordinate with the police and fire department to bring out service um, 
vehicles that kids can see and kind of understand who served their community. Um, in May, we're planning a Harry Potter Day to celebrate the 25th anniversary of that publishing. So um, we're getting ready for summer reading as well. So we've got some regular stuff that goes on. We've got teen art once a month for the teens. Um, so we've got some regular stuff and we're planning some bigger stuff as we move forward. So the fire, fire trucks are cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how old you are, just seeing up close a fire truck that's not fighting a fire, you right. know, um, it, they're just, they're just cool. They're amazing pieces of, uh, of equipment. So when, when is the touch a truck? Uh, event? April 9th. April 9th. Well, that ought to be a lot of fun. And they love the, the firefighters. Uh, they love talking to the kids and, and showing them all the different uh, aspects of those vehicles, don't they? Yes, and they're um, an important part of our community and they work hard to protect us all, so we're excited to celebrate them. Ab absolutely. Um, what other resources at the Carlsbad Library do you have, like electronic resources or other things like that? Just kind of talk about that. Um, we've got lots of resources. We've got databases. Um, we've got like e-books, e-audiobooks e-movies, e-music, lots of entertainment stuff. We've got legal forms, so if you're trying to represent yourself in a case, we've got the paperwork for that. Um, we've got a database that if you're an author and you're trying to create an e-book, it's a whole platform for that. Um, we've got language databases, so if you want to learn Spanish or Chinese or any, I think there's <laughs> 60 some odd languages. Russian? No. Um, probably. <laughs> um, most of the main languages are represented. Sure. Um, we've got homework help. We've got lots of different resources for um, school, um, continuing education, GED stuff. So we like to think we're Carlsbad's information source. So. Yeah, absolutely. What uh, What are your hours? When When is the library generally open? <laughs> <laughs> when we're at our normal hours, which yeah. we are currently, yep. they are Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Friday and Saturday are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So now people that come in just to read in the library, are there some special spots in the library there at Carlsbad that are just popular for people just to sit and get a book and, and read and kind of ch get away from everything going on? Yes. Um, we've got some cozy booths you can curl up in and kind of set up your whole workspace. We've got some comfortable tables in the back if you want to do like a um, conference call or something with maybe some sound. Um, so we've got different areas that people can um, utilize yeah. along with our computers and other resources. So well, that's good. Well, what else do people need to know about the Carlsbad Public Library that we haven't talked about? Yet. Um, just that we're a great information source and that we um, partner with other organizations in the community. So even if we can't help you, uh, most likely we can find somebody else in the community that can. Yeah, that's great. So the main uh, the main event coming up that we want to make sure people know about is the, uh, the Dr. Seuss birthday party. And that's going to be coming up on Wednesday, uh, March Second, right? Yes. Yeah, day after election day. <laughs> so, uh, and kind of go uh, cover that again, kind of give us the brief uh, synopsis of what will be taking place at the birthday party. Um, it'll be Wednesday, March 2nd from 3 to 5. We'll have refreshments, party games, scavenger hunt, and stories by Dr. Seuss. And people dressed up in character. Yes. And you'll, you, you will be uh, a character from the Green Eggs and Ham, right? Yes. Have you got everything all picked out? Yes, we we got the costumes this week, so we're all good to go. Oh, and wow. we'll have fun, susical shirts, so we're excited. Yeah, well, that's good. Well, Sarah, is there anything else going on at the library or anything else uh, uh, going on around the library in Carlsbad you want to mention and, and let folks know about? Um, we're working on expanding into the community, so we're working on a maker space that we hope can serve um, our community and possible Artesia people who want to come and try out some of our tools. So we're definitely working on some cool initiatives in the community to um, make Carlsbad even better than it already is. So when you say a maker space, where you make things? Yes. Okay. Um, it, it's a partnership that I'm working on with um, Pearl of the Pecos and Main Street that will have a building that will have tools. So if you want to try out like um, certain um, 
kind of creative aspects. So like a saw or um, we're talking about maybe having like a digital recording studio with green screens. So if there's like a podcast you want to try out or some sort of thing that you're wanting to try, but you don't want to invest in all this expensive equipment, um, it'll be a communal space that you can come use, collaborate, create, and hopefully um, create some pretty cool stuff, maybe mm. even start some businesses. Sure, and sure. Have you, have you been uh, doing podcasts? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, consider this recording right here because we're going to post it later consider this a podcast so of course we have a few more things in here than what the average person might have to do a podcast so that that uh maker lab might be a neat deal to to put together yeah and that's kind of the goal is that some of this stuff the average um consumer wouldn't have and you wouldn't want to invest in some of this stuff but yeah. um, it's something we could and then multiple people could use it so it truly benefit the community so well good was there anything else sarah did we miss anything i don't think so okay <laughs> well sarah jones with us from the carlsbad public library and the big event uh, Wednesday is the uh, Dr. Seuss birthday party at the Carlsbad Public Library, 3 o'clock yes. uh, in the afternoon on that Wednesday. So bring the kids out and, and have some fun with, uh, with all of that at the Carlsbad Library. Sarah, anything else? Well, thank you for having us, and I hope to see you guys on Wednesday. Excellent. Sarah Jones with us. Thank you so much.